Hello and welcome to another video on the leaks that we had. And today we're going to talk about the Drake Cutter. Uh, not sure that it, that's like how it's going to be called, but it's an interesting one. So let me roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. All right, so first of all, you gotta know this. Nothing is certain. Uh, we still don't know the name of the ship. We call it the Cutter, and it might be called the, I don't know, something else. But currently, we're gonna like refer it to as a Cutter, uh, or the Cutter. So, um, these are new leaks. Let me switch the cam, and it's here. So, these new leaks. Expedition variant. So, first of all, this is the looks of it, and this is the biggest picture that you're gonna get um, right now. So, uh, yeah, the resolution is trash, but that that is something that we have. This is not a concept design. Uh, this was confirmed that this is actually how it's going to look like. So with that said, uh, let's talk about the specs. Uh, I don't know if you can read them, but I, I'm going to read it to you. So uh, this one is <laughs> made for expedition and exploration. Sure, because that's a thing. Uh, we obviously have that as a game loop in Star Citizen already, and it's working properly. Uh, max crew of one. Speed 250 meters per second. Cargo two SUs, one of which is shielded for smuggling. So it's a smuggling, like a starter smuggling ship. It has a weapon locker, it has a bed, a personal locker, a suit locker, not included on other variants, so there's gonna be more variants. There's a food machine, not included on other variants, and uh, like you have two pilot-controlled weapons, uh, which are two size two weapons, gimbaled down to uh, two size one laser repeaters, which is bad. Uh, there are no turrets, and it has two racks, uh, two size two racks uh, with size one missiles. So it's basically a starter ship, and honestly, honestly. I did not expect this, and nobody did, and I like it. I honestly really, really dig it. I dig the design, although maybe the cockpit could have been better, because it, uh, it's a bit trashy. Also, two size one weapons or two size two weapons, like, uh, there's more space on, on, on the cutter, or this ship to like put like two more size twos even if they like put like uh four size ones uh on the ship it would be a direct competitor to the aurora or the um pisces but this thing has a bed has a food machine it's like i don't know if that's even like ever gonna work a uh, suit locker, a uh, personal locker, and a weapons locker, and that's really good. It does have like two SUs of cargo, that, like you're not gonna make any money with that, but it's good to have something because it, like in the future, uh, it's gonna mean something. Like uh, two SUs of cargo is gonna mean something, and like once you attach that to the grid, or once you, I don't know, do like a bunch of uh, bunker missions, or uh, do a lot of looting and, and etc., uh, you will use those one SU boxes to store that shit because it's gonna be really easy to sell from those. And once you go to a station, you're, you're just gonna sell the box and that's it. So this is really cool. And honestly, I just wanna see the other variants now. And uh, I wanna see the prices. Like if the prices are good, if this is not fucking, I don't know, 50 bucks or 60 bucks, this could be really good because this could be basically the Avenger Titan, maybe, but cheaper, uh, like, uh, more close to like the starter ship price and if this is sold as a starter ship that's gonna be good because like currently we only have two starter ships and if other people are like me and they like star wars they're probably gonna opt uh, for the uh, drake design because it just feels better and more uh sci-fi e than uh uh, Auroras and the Mustangs. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, and one of my community members in the uh, Grumpy's Lair uh, community Discord, uh, link in the description, maybe I'm gonna post it in the comment, uh, you can join, everybody's welcome. Uh, he, he posted a picture where <laughs> where he just like put a fucking mule on top of it and yeah I, I i understand why this design is like that but also like 
it could have been more like a cutty. Honestly, it could have been a bit more like a cutty or the um, buccaneer. Uh, and that would, like if if uh, this was slanted here, if the window or the uh, windshield was slanted, it would be it would look much better. But even like this, it's um, it's like an Argo Cargo. It's it's like a love child of a Cuddy, a Cuddy Black and the Argo Cargo, and it's probably gonna be as retarded. Also, one more thing: somebody compared the player model to the uh, model of the ship, so we have an approximate. Uh, of the uh, size of the ship. So that will be 4.2 meters in height, 21 meters in length, and we can't really say how wide it is because of the picture, but yeah, it's uh, mm, half of the, uh, of the length or, or maybe even a bit less. But uh, yeah, it, it's just an approximate, but that's, that's it. But compared uh, to the Mustang Alpha, for example, which is a starter ship, uh, it's 21.5 in length, uh, the beam is 18 and the height is 9 meters. Uh, of course, uh, this that we just saw here is uh, without the landing gear, so we can't really say how high it's gonna be with the landing gear uh, down. And uh, yeah, the, the length of the Aurora is 18 meters, beam is 8 meters, and height is 4 meters. So it's basically the size of both of those uh, starter ships. Like, it just falls in that line, and uh, that's why I think that like this is going to be the LTI token uh, alongside of the Pisces, uh, because, yeah, uh, apparently there's going to be a medical Pisces, and uh, I think that the devs are trying to keep it on the hush, but uh, we, like, there are some... Uh, let me see. Yeah, there are some screenshots uh, like this is all I'm like I don't, I'm not sure if this is a screenshot from the Pisces or not But there are some screenshots that people are passing around and uh, this could be the medical Pisces the the interior But also this may not be the medical Pisces. I have no idea uh, This just l looks like wrong because it's too deep and it's too uh, Like big for the Pisces because the Pisces is small, but uh, yeah, we know the size like we know the approximate size of the drake cutter and yeah i don't know what else to say uh it's gonna be really interesting to see how many variants they're gonna like push out uh during iae or is it just gonna be one variant uh is it gonna be this one or uh the base model we don't know at this point but uh yeah i really want to see it and uh test it out and honestly please cag like, uh, please just sell this well, as like a, a starter ship. Just give people an option to, to get something else instead of the Aurora and the Mustang. Give them this because this is a bit different and this has like smuggling potential with that one SU uh, that is shielded. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to like uh, keep you guys updated. Uh, I guess that there are going to be more and more leaks as the time goes on and as we get closer to the IE, of course during the IE I'm probably gonna stream on day one and uh, show you around if you're not playing uh, because why would you because it's still 317 it's the same patch cycle it's just like the hole is added and that's it so uh, all the bugs are persisting and like nothing is getting fixed it's just that they just added the ships and they added the hole so uh with that said thank you for watching and uh tell me if you like these uh kinds of videos and if you're excited for this honestly if this is a starter ship uh I i'm i'm in love with it if this is going to be priced at like 60 or 70 or 80 bucks no so Again, thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, there's going to be a link down in the description of the video and you can support me uh, through Patreon for buying these ships to give them away or review them and uh, for me being me, for me running the channel and uh, buying equipment for the studio. And if you want to do that, the Patreon link is in the description of the video. So again, uh, this was a short one. I hope that you found it uh, interesting. So yeah. Uh, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling to space and mwah, bye.